What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you one of the most reliable knots that I know of. And that's the improved clinch knot. It's a really simple knot. I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly. Stay tuned. So we just wrote a new PDF called What Knots to Tie and When. And one of our favorite knots is in here, the improved clinch knot. Um, I'm going to show you how to tie it really quickly. Um, using actually, look, it's the same lure that I took a picture of. Um, and I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this braided yellow line so you can see it easier. Um, but certain knots work better with certain rigs, certain lures. Um, this knot works for a lot. Uh, I use this to tie up my regular hooks. I use it to tie my poppers. This is my go-to knot. So, I want to show you as clearly as possible because I've seen a lot of knot tying videos where it's pretty unclear how they're doing it. So I wanted to try and make it as clear as possible. Ready? Get the tag end, right? Put it through. Okay? Now hold both of these lines, the tag end line and the main line, okay? And now we're gonna turn this six times. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Zoom in on that. So you see that little loop right in there? Right before all those twists? I know you see it. Now, take this tag end. This is, this is the difficult part, because you want to keep these, these loop, you want to keep these twists as tight as possible. So get this tag end while keeping tension on both the lure and your, and the main line. Now put that through. Put that through that little hole, okay? Ah! All right, pull, and then once you put that through there, you have formed a new loop right here. You see this new loop right here? Put it through that. And then you're gonna wanna tighten the whole thing. But you don't wanna pull everything at one time. Kinda slowly pull it. Notice how these, these wraps, how they come together. You kind of want to pull all three at the same time. See that? You see how it's folding? There we go. That's an important step that a lot of people have not explained is the tightening of the knot. It should be tightening evenly. If it doesn't tighten evenly, you'll, you'll be left with a lot of loops here and, and it just doesn't look good and it's not as strong. This is a strong knot now. There we go. Now I'm going to cut this tip off. So then just cut the tag end off. And this is an important step. Test the strength of your knot. Don't just start fishing it because sometimes you could have tied it wrong and the whole thing slips and you lose a big fish. It's happened to me before. Trust me guys. You want to test your knots. And there you go, a quick, easy knot. It's quick and easy to me because I have tied this probably over a thousand times, thousands of times. An important thing that you guys need to know is that this knot does not come overnight. It's something that you need to continually practice, something that you need to practice even when you're not fishing, something you need to practice when you're sitting at home, nothing else to do, Just practice tying. The faster you can tie the, the knots while you're on on field fishing, the better off you'll be. This is just one knot of many knots that we explain. Um, there are a lot of different kinds of knots that, that I like to use, um, but for specific things, such as a line to line, tying your, your main line to your, your, your leader line, if you're using braid, or if you want to tie, basically the reason why you would tie a line to line knot is if you have braided line and you want to have a thick leader line, or if you, even if you have a thinner monofilament fluorocarbon line and you want to tie a thicker leader line on. It's a really nice thing to know how to tie line to line. Anyways, this is all available at SenkoSkipper.com. We've got the what knots to tie and when. And we also have a brand new best pier fishing lures and how to use them. So we are really making an effort to try and teach people and share our knowledge with as many beginner fishermen or anyone who wants to learn as possible um, by creating these guides and creating products to help you guys, to help you guys get on fish, less frustration, more fun.
Hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, like and subscribe. We do these kind of tutorials all the time. We do all sorts of different shows. Um, there's a little notification. There's a little notification bell next to subscribe. Click the notification bell because we post episodes. I think we're posting four a week right now, and you wouldn't want to miss any of that. Also, visit SenkoSkipper.com. We've got a lot of products to help you guys out on there. Uh, we actually have a brand new suggestion box. So we would like anyone who has any ideas for the show, any kind of tutorials that you want to see. You know, we're a community here. And it's important that we share with each other. It's important that we talk to each other. And the suggestion box is a great place to give us suggestions. Anything that you want to see on the show, anything you don't want to see on the show, let us know. Hit us up at SenkoSkipper.com. Peace.